everybody we're here at Spiro's Heroes here in the San Fernando Valley and I just want to show you guys this freaking rad shop that I just came across um, okay so let's just start here this is like the the kind of shop it's got you kind of your classic old issue classic keys then there's tons of these are all back issues so they do not do new issues these are all back issues um, so you might think, okay, great, so what? Well, there's something more to this though. This place is, not only does it have back issues, everything back here is 50 cents. Every comic here is 50 cents. Let me just show you what we're talking about. This is the indie room. This is independence. These are all long boxes, all 50 cents each. Image, Supreme, Top Cow, everything all and then guess what they're alphabetized for a biscuit Here, okay <laughs> this is epic this is just independence 50 cents okay spiros heroes then check this out this is the dc room this is just dc comics <laughs> i could spend probably three day top three days it'd take me probably three full days to go through everything this is 50 cent comics each, okay? All these guys. Then there's the independent, okay? Now we've got, look, boxes of vertigo, 50 cent vertigo, what is there? There's like um, 22 long boxes. Avatar, Dynamite, IDW, Stormwatch, all these 50 cent boxes. Dark Horse. I just went through these epics and eclipse. I got a bunch of these. We'll share on my channel. Dark Horse. Uh, Comico. Oni. Caliber. Manga. Continuity. Antarctic Press has got it. Now. Icon. Fanographics. Renegade. Kitchen Sink. All this. All these. 50 cents each. Then we go into this room. This is the Marvel. <laughs> this is awesome okay look all those box of vendors 50 cents each okay i'm not i'm not trying to sell it but i'm trying to sell it here because this place is rad um it is yeah this is a really great shop anyway uh these are all 50 cents each too i was only going to be here for like an hour and i'm over that but i i'm just i'm not i'm gonna i don't have time to be here all day Anyway, this is the shop. It is really great. I'm really impressed with it. Spiro's Heroes. And uh, if you get a chance, definitely come check it out. And I'll be sharing with you what I got today on the channel. So, there you go. This is pretty epic here. Look, everybody. Just got out of Spiro's Heroes uh, off of Nordoff here in San Fernando Valley. I'm going to my car. I got a big old stack of books. Cost about 25 bucks. A big old stack, dude. Um, and yeah, this was a great shop, dude. It is literally just like a hole in the wall. It's like in this little industrial complex, and it's just like an office suite with all those little rooms in there. So uh, let's go back to the cave, uh, as my wife calls it, and let's just take a look at what I got, and that's kind of fun. So let's do that, okay? See you guys on the flip side. Hey everybody, how you doing? So I just got home from Los Angeles, um, uh, San Fernando Valley specifically, which is about around, you know, 45 minutes, hour and 15 minutes, depending on traffic. It's pretty late, it's like 11 o'clock in the evening, so traffic was pretty quick. So I just got home and I said, you know what, let's just record this now because one, I'm excited about buying these things, and two, because I thought might as well record it. So I bought all this stuff at this new shop I'm super stoked about called Spiro's Heroes. And Elliot Spiro's is the guy. And uh, really sweet older gentleman and he has this big freaking store which you saw the video of which was rad. So I'm just gonna, I spent you know 25 bucks and I bought a bunch of stuff. These are all like 50 cents each. And uh, it's pretty rad. <laughs> so I just thought I'd just share what you I got. Okay. We start off with Jack, Jack Staff. This is book two. 
I said, what the heck? I like Paul Grist. I don't have any of his stuff. So I thought, you know, why don't I buy some Paul Grist stuff? So there you go. And uh, just a quick thumb through. Um, I like this art. It's got a kind of a simplistic um, feel to it, but I don't know, it's expressive and I dig it. So I'm all about that. And there we go, book one. Next, I am Legion. Uh, I'm a huge fan of John Cassidy, so I wanted to get this. I think he has a great design style. And uh, this is a Humanoids book. I didn't know he did this. And it looks a little like alt history. We've got some Nazi stuff, so you gotta get the Nazi stuff because it's fun to see them get beat up. And um, this looks a little different. Yeah, he's still putting this texture on the faces. It's kind of like shading, but um, and maybe he could be a little stiff maybe, but I dig it. Okay, next, uh, Unwritten. So it's Unwritten Fables, so I'm a little confused by that because I love fables, but I don't know what this Unwritten Fables is, so I don't know if it's like a crossover or what. But I thought, you know what, Let's check it out. So it was 50 cents, you can't go wrong, it's a whole trade too, so normally 15 bucks, 50 cents, can't go wrong. Huge fan of fables, so I thought, what the heck. And this is actually one book that my wife will read. So, um, you know, anything I can share, I'm all about sharing. Uh, I have no idea what this is, but I like anthologies, and I was looking through this, and I really like this here, and I just like, oh, this is kinda cool. Um, so I picked this up, and um, you know, again, 50 cents, looks different. I don't know this publisher, this um, Frog Children, but looks super indie and dig it. Um, Dalgoda, Fanagraphics. So this was a Fanagraphics book and I didn't know. Yeah, this just looks really interesting too. And I thought, let me check this out. This is kind of cool. I don't know what this is but you know let's get it and this was look Gary Gary Groth was a freaking editor back here 1984 so I don't know who Dennis Fujaki Fu, Fu, Fujitaki 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 don't know who he is but um, I'm digging the art so I figure let's give it a spin Easy Way, I don't know this book either. All these books I don't know. I like this cover though, it's got like an embossed cover. Um, I thought the art was kind of interesting here. Reminds me a little bit of like uh, Oming, you know, like Powers, kinda, and look kinda indie, so I thought, let's give it a shot. I want you to, I want to be your dog. Um, I was like, this is a little weird, but I really like this art. Look at this, can you guys see this art? I mean, this is really interesting. It's, it has a little bit of that Ted McKeever thing going, but it's also, it's a little scratchy, but it's expressive, a little Kyle Baker, some Kevich or something, I don't know what. But um, I, wanna, I wanna learn, I wanna look up this guy, cause I thought it was really cool, so I got this. And then speaking of Kyle Baker, I got some shadow. Now, I actually, uh, I might have some of these. <laughs> so I might have a couple of these. I don't know, but I thought, you know what? They're 50 cents. It's worth getting just in case. I love his stuff, and we're going to talk about him and, and his shadow run right after. So Sienkiewicz did the first six issues with Helf, Helfner, Helfer. Um, and then he comes on the book, and um, he's great. He's just really great. So we got this one, we got this guy. You know, again, the art is great, dude. We got this one here. These are all body and soul. It's like this little um, five part, five part. Look at that cover. I don't even know what that is, but it looks cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, look at that face right there. I mean, I can't, I'm just thinking about the faces I'm doing right now. Just the way that mouth works, 
sometimes I just make it a little too um, angular, so I like I like the way that kind of looks good. It's a good mouth. I should steal that mouth. Um, like that. Okay, so that's that. Uh, Kid Eternity. I don't know this book, but I like Grant Morrison. I'm, I'm rereading Invinci uh, Invisibles, which you probably saw. So I thought, let's get this. And then I got, whoa, it's painted. I'm like, what? Because I know uh, Duncan Forgetto, he did some invis Invisibles, and he did a bunch of different stuff. I didn't know he painted. So I was like, what? I mean, this gives me shades of like Dave McKean and stuff. So I'm like, okay, I gotta look at this book. So I'm kind of excited about this. I wish there were more. This is two, and I don't know of how far that goes. St. George. So I got a bunch of epics because I don't have much epics, and I saw this was Jansen. I like Jansen's inks and the way he draws stuff, so I thought, let me get some of this. And so I just, just wanted to get some Jansen. And uh, this was a book that looked different. Again, I'm buying books, you know, one main reason is to study. It's just to study, it's to learn. Um, that's what it, that's what I'm doing. So I figure, you know, let's, let's do this, let's study this. So I do that. St. George. So I got these St. George's. Now I have no idea what he is or what this is about, but I like, again, I like the art. I like these covers too. And one. And this one, and this one. This one definitely looks a little Sienkiewicz-y. Let me see who did the cover. Ba 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 ba. It doesn't. So oh, come on. Yep, it is Sienkiewicz. Okay, I thought so. I'm like, this really looks like Sienkiewicz here. This one doesn't. But this one does. Yeah. So kind of excited about that. Dune. Okay, another Sienkiewicz. You know he's one of my guys. So I'm gonna grab it. I might have this as well. Again. I don't have a big database with all my books. I had one years ago, but I don't anymore. Look at that, isn't that great? So I thought, let me just get some of this stuff. My goodness. Yeah, it's great, great stuff. And this came out from the movie, clearly it's too bad because it'd be great to see this prior to the movie with, with their kind of things. Um, Animal Man, big fan of, again, talk about Morrison, I don't know this run, and I know that a lot of people like this a lot, so I wanted to, um, you know, get some of the stuff, so I'm kind of excited about, about the, is this the one where he meets Morrison? Hang on. Oh, this is! <gasps> is this the issue? Cause that's Morrison right there, I think. Is this the issue where he meets himself or he meets? Yep. Oh, snap. This is the issue where, where Animal Man meets Morrison. Okay, this is like infamous. I am, this is kind of a, a, a freaking gem. So, okay, I'm excited about that. I've heard about that. Now, again, epics. I didn't know that Kevin O'Neill did these comics, but I looked it up and I'm like, oh, this is cool art. What the freak is this? This is really interesting. Who is this? And then I'm like, O'Neill, this is Kevin freaking O'Neill. Oh, look at this. Straight Toasters attitude. I need to get those. Oh man, I love this stuff. Anyway, so cool. Um, so yeah, I need to, so I'm like, oh, let's get these. So I picked up um, these issues of martial law. Look at these covers. These are great covers, man. You can you can see the, you know, uh, League, of, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen in here, which is always fun. I always like to see like the the other works that they wind up doing, you know, in these. So very cool. Uh, and I got another Animal Man um, because, again, I saw it cheap, so I'm like, I'm gonna get him. So there was a bunch of Animal Man after that, like Peter Milligan and things like that, or uh, Rick Veach. But 
whenever I see Morrison, I'm like, I need to get it because uh, I'm a fan. Here's Epic, an anthology, and this is, um, I'm assuming not to be confused with Epic the Magazine, but it is an anthology of different stories, so I wanted to pick it up because I like those. Dare. This was interesting. Um, I liked the art in this. I thought the art was kind of cool. I have no idea. Oh, this is, oh, this was Grant Morrison. And Ryan Hughes, Hughes. So that was kind of cool. I dig it. Silver Heels. Um, Scott Hampton looked pretty cool. I said, let's get it. Wordsmith. So this is a book that I didn't uh, never seen before, but Renegade Press kind of intrigued me. I've never heard of them, um, but I liked. The, again, you know, you look at the art, right? That's what kind of attracts you. And I just really like some of the uh, the drawing in here. Um, just great. These are all really great faces. So different from one another. And so I really like the line work. And I thought, let's get this, Mama. So I got it. Kind of, I'm excited about that. It looks like a fun one. Really well done. Okay. Um, not familiar with the this publisher, but I like Gray Morrow. And I looked at it. I said, okay, what is this? And I was like, turn down with it. So I'm like, let's do this. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Okay. Friends. I just grabbed a bunch of these renegades, to be honest. And I was just like, okay. Like, this is different. So, you know, just about seeing what people have done. Yeah. I don't know any of these people. I've never heard of these guys, friends. Yeah. Same thing here. Another one. Kind of interesting. Video Jack. Actually, honestly, this is something I've been wanting to get and I got I got a couple of these. I've been trying to look for these because I'm a huge fan of Keith Giffen. I'm a big fan of Keith Giffen. Like big big. So I've been wanting to get these and I still haven't found a whole freaking set. So I've you know I'm still trying. <laughs> I'm still trying to but I really love his um nine panel grids and I just love what he can do with nine panel grids and he looks like six panel. There's just He's he's really good. One of my favorites. Strata, another renegade. Didn't even open it. I just said, screw it. Let's get it. Okay, these guys were interesting because we know these names. I like Paul Gle uh, Glassy, Glucy, Glacy, Glacy. Um, and I like the the art was just great. I was like, what is this stuff? This looks really good. Um, again, epic comics, dude. These guys were just pumping out great stuff. I mean, it's part of Marvel, but this, this line of comics was just really exciting. So I got the whole freaking thing. Um, look at that. There's also some kind of Steranko kind of reminds me of that a little bit. I mean, there's a lot of different... People. The painting this is great colors. So I love these covers. It's another one of that. There's the number one. Big Illuminati. Yeah. Neat. I'm excited about this. This will be fun. Okay. Remember, the epics, I mean, to me, I kind of see these as like Marvel Vertigo back in the day before Vertigo, right? Um, I got this too, again, another epic, just, I looked at it, I'm like, what the heck is this? Like, what is this art? Look at this thing. It is kind of super scratchy, super, like, out there, kind of, I don't know, I just dug it. I'm like, we can learn, we can learn from this. And then I saw Kent Williams. Now, if you guys don't know who Kent Williams is, 
you got to go get uh, Wolverine Havoc Meltdown. It's a four-part Marvel Comics book. This is by that same team, Dematis, who I love, and uh, Kent Williams. This is volume four. Again, epic. And this is badass. Um, super excited to read this, Mama. So, I love Kent Williams. He is one of these illustrators that really uh, bridges the gap to, in my opinion, uh, fine art. He's kind of an illustrator, fine art illustrator type of guy. Where it's illustration, but it's also like right there into fine art kind of world. Um, yeah, dude. I'm excited to see that. I mean, this is like, this would be the ultimate, right, for me, to be able to pull that off. Um, let's open this dumb thing. Let's just see what this is. We got a few minutes here. You guys aren't in a hurry, right? You guys can stick around? Stick around for a few minutes, bro. Stick around, bro. Okay, let's open this bad boy. Um, okay, what is this? Okay. I'm not super amazed, but I like this. That's really nice. Okay, well, it is what it is. Okay, there you go. Uh, I'll open this up too. We can Girl Scouts. I like uh, Jim of Food. So I thought I'd get some of this stuff. Hmm. When was this made? This feels this feels a little dated. When is this? Ba 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 ba. Two thousand and three. Yeah, I can kind of see that. This feels like really early for him. I think he's matured a lot. Um, but I'm excited to check it out. So we'll check that out. And then I saw these. There, there was a box just of Avatar. And I'm not a huge Avatar press guy, but I thought, you know what? I will buy them for 50 freaking cents. So I picked up just a number of them. Um, I was limited on time, but so I got these guys. Uh, it's probably some weird occult thing, but I like that. I'm a big fan of my man, Alan Moore. Alan Moore. So I got three. Eight, seven, eleven. Of course, nothing for game matches, but I'm excited to to read them, check them out, because I'm a fan of his his writing. He, I don't feel he phones it in, you know. Uh, Citizen Jack. I like Sam Humphreys. I really like this art. I just picked it up and I'm like, okay, this is um, this is pretty neat. So. I thought, let's uh, let's give this a freaking whirl here. So I don't know. I just got the first two issues. I didn't want to like go crazy on it. Um, let's go to Knights Templar. I never read this. Felt a little bit like it was Mouse Guard when it first came out. Um, but you know, you know how industry is. This could have came out before conceptually and it just mouse guard beat it to market so I can't blame that but let me um and I like Michael Avon um Oming so I wanted to give it a shot and it does look pretty cool actually so I'm excited to read that I will read the heck out of it and this other thing I just picked up like I don't know seven issues of this book called Wolf it's by Image. It was made, uh, blah, 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 2016. Never heard it. Do not know who these people are. Ricardo Lopez Ortiz. Don't know who Alice not, uh, Cot is, but I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. Like, I like this stuff specifically. Uh, it's got that kind of Sean Murphy expression stuff. There's a lot of little splatteries and stuff. Um, and 
and then the screen tones and all that jazz. So I like it. A little bit of like Cypress, um, Toby Cypress. This is a great cover. And I have no idea what it is about. But I thought, let's read this mofo. Um, yeah, I like it. Mm hmm. It's a great cover, too. These are all, the covers are really great. The covers what got me, you know, like, oh, this is neat. Um, and that's a great cover, too. So, so I'm down with this book. So I'm excited to read it. Yeah, that's another good one. I like these pink, purple, and white deal. And it looks like there's different, I don't know, do, I don't know if it's a different artist completely, or is he different? Oh yeah, no, there's different artists. That's Matt Taylor. Okay, so it's kind of going different places. We'll see. And then, the piece de resistance. I bought a bunch of heavy metals. These were, what did I buy? Seven eight heavy metals, a buck each. Can't go wrong because each of these mugs are $9. So I bought a bunch of these. I'll put them in my heavy metal stack, stash of books. So um, I won't necessarily go through all these. I'll just show you the covers and we'll go through these later. Um, these honestly, the heavy metals is a crapshoot. Sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're not. But for a buck, I figure, you know, you can't go wrong. So there you go. So that's what I got here at the shop. It's getting late, I'm going home, I'm going to bed rather. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Appreciate it. You guys are great. Have a wonderful day. Subscribe to my channel. If you hit the bell icon, you'll learn more about it. Check out my Patreon. Um, I'm doing a bunch of comics and projects, daily comics, my graphic novel called Shangri-La Estates, and I'm also doing uh, a novel called uh, The Nagual. So a bunch of stuff I'm doing creatively. Thanks so much. Bye.